What's up internet? This is Kaz from Minecraft Friends here just putting together a little tutorial on how to run a bucket server or rather to set one up. Seems pretty basic but uh, I thought we'd start basic and help anybody out there who might be looking to start their own server. So uh, to start out with what you want to do is you want to go to bucket.org. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right but in any case and then you want to download the recommended build. Um, right now 1.4 is not the recommended build but there are beta builds you can use and they seem to run just fine. So anyway once you download it you'll get this file that you're looking at. Uh, I like to rename it to uh, craftbucket.jar just because it's a lot easier to find and um, all that stuff. So once you have that the next thing you need to do is create a uh, text file. We'll just, uh, I already got one created, so let me uh, copy this stuff out. Basically, you will create a new text document. Just call it uh, server or server start, whatever you want to call it, and leave it as uh, the TXT. Then, once you're in here, you're going to copy and paste, or rather, you're going to paste this in here. I'll put this in the comments so you can uh, copy it directly from there. But anyway, basically what this means is it's going to start the Java, um, something about the RAM. I'm not sure exactly, but basically the one thing you do want to note is this. This is the file that it's going to look for with whatever folder that you're running it in, uh, which is why I renamed it to Craft Bucket. It's a lot easier. It finds it a lot quicker. So once you have that uh, TXT file started, we'll save that. Then you want to rename it. If you don't have this... Uh, you don't have a file name at the end of it it's pretty easy to to um, to update I will put directions in the comments for that excuse me anyway so once you have that let's delete this one and I'll use the one I already have made anyway then you just run it uh, so it's calling all that it's gonna run it so we're gonna allow access do, 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 and we just wait for it. And basically, it just compiles everything it needs to run the server. Uh, okay. <laughs> anyway, and we just wait for it to load. It's going to create a world using that seed. All that stuff is all going to be compiled. So once that's compiled, we'll uh, start by well, we'll compile. Basically, you got to stop it. So we'll stop. And now you can see it's going to save the world, all that stuff. <laughs> Not like Superman, it's just going to save this world. Anyway, um, so now if you want to load any plugins, uh, you're going to put them in this plugins folder here. And I downloaded one just for testing purposes. This is kind of a base one that a lot of plugins use and are required. So any in economy plugins, stuff like that, uses this one. It's uh, called Vault. You can find it at bucket.org. Um, where you can download it from there. I already have it downloaded, so I'm just going to get this one cut and paste into the plugins folder. So the server's off right now, and we have put that plugins in, but there's no settings, nothing's compiled for it yet. So what you got to do is run the server again, and it's going to load everything. Um, you have to do this for any plugin you want to load. Uh, what it does right now is it sees that jar file and it'll just compile it and it'll make another folder called Vault in the plugins folder. And then once you're done with that, we'll just stop that as we wait. So now you got plugin metrics. This is the folder that the Vault is run uh, makes. Usually the folder that a plugin will make will be called you know, Mob Arena or whatever plugin, World Guard, World Edit are the two other most common ones for running a server, and it'll you can uh, modify any settings in there. So once once we have that, let's start our server back up, and then let's uh, let's go down here. I'll show you guys a little bit what you want to do here. Um, so we're gonna type in run can't really see my screen here. This is how you can find your IP address and then we'll go into a little bit of port forwarding as well. So once you have run there just type in CMD and then do IP config. So this will tell you uh, the IP address of your server, your local IP address. This is not the public one and then the IP address of your router. You'll need to know those two for later. So let's type in exit and close that. So 
what you the next thing you need to know is your public address and you could do that just by going to Google and then typing in what's my IP so now you'll get your IP address and this is what you'll tell people to connect to your server so once you get that then you're gonna wanna go to your um, to your router so yours will probably look different um, and then in here you're gonna look where is mine I forget oh yeah where uh, no nope. port forwarding so in here then you basically it's gonna listen on this port which is what Minecraft runs on and then it's gonna forward to the IP address so we would actually put uh, something different in there. This is I run a server out of my house every once in a while. It's just for testing purposes. Usually I have my own server set up off-site, monthly everything. So, but if you want to just run this, have some friends connect to it, have some fun. Um, this is how you do it. You need to find that public IP and your local IP, and then set up the port forwarding. I'll put some more links and detailed descriptions on how to do that because that's probably the most difficult part of the whole process because it's different for everybody but there are some great websites and resources out there um, yeah hope it goes well for you and um, yeah have fun with it just uh, you can install any kind of plugins just by running that uh, plugins folder so anyway uh, that should be all as always uh, have fun and uh, enjoy the game hope it goes well